What's up, Fox Squad? Squad? Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we have literally bought every single one of Mr. Beast's food that he has available right now. And we are gonna be taste testing every single one of Mr. Beast's food today. But to make things extra fun and exciting, we're gonna do a challenge in our family to see which Mr. Beast food product we all think is the best. The winner is gonna get $100 of Mr. Beast merch. What do you guys think? Yeah. 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 And the losers are gonna have to do a 24 hour epic Mr. Beast survival challenge in the desert. Wow! Yeah. 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 Let's get started! Woo! All right, here's my guess of which food product's gonna win this family challenge. Here's my pick. Here's my pick. Here's my guess. Here's my pick. Round one, you guys ready? Yeah. It's gonna be exciting. Let's go! We have a Mr. Beast, Beast burger on our left, a Chandler burger on our right. We're gonna pop up a bracket right here to show you. We're literally gonna take two of each of these items and we're gonna vote and decide which is our favorite and it will move on to the next round and we're just gonna see what's our family's favorite Mr. Beast food. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. You this? this one's the Mr. Beast burger. It looks like it's got two cheeseburger patties. We got some pickles and onions on here. Really? Jack, do you like onions? No. Three, two, one, go. I'm not kissing up to Mr. Beast. This is, this is delicious. Now we're gonna take a bite of the Chandler, Chandler. burger. Oh. Here we go. This might be Jack's. Like favorite thing, it's got meat and cheese. No ketchup, Jack, no ketchup. I know, that's good. <laughs> Three, two, and go. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I really like this one. If you want to place your vote for the Mr. Beast burger, raise your hand if you thought it was the best. If you want the Chandler burger, raise your hand. Let's go Chandler! All right, Chandler looks like the Chandler them. burger won this round. I don't usually go plain, but that was pretty good. Does this mean Beast is eliminated? Beast is eliminated. I thought they were both amazing, but I don't know why, I like the plain, that was good. All right, round two. The one on our left, it is the original chocolate. The one on the right is milk chocolate. Look at the shape it's got on there. Is that kind of fun? It says devour on the bottom and share at the top. What do you guys think? You ready to take a bite? Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Now everybody open up the milk chocolate. <laughs> Let me teach Kaden how to open a wrapper. Ready? Just rip right down the middle. <laughs> Mr. Beast chocolate's packaging is easy to open. <laughs> everybody can take a bite. In, you have to take a bite, not like it, Kyler. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, bite. Mm, they're both good. I'm, I'm more of a milk chocolate fan. I like this one. Raise your hand if you vote for the first one, the original chocolate. Raise your hand if you vote for the second one, the milk chocolate. Woo! All right, we got a clear winner. The Mr. Beast milk chocolate. All right, round three, we've got french fries. But before we start, I just want to say one thing. What? The candy that I think is eliminated. I thought original chocolate was going to win, but... Looks like someone's going to be surviving the desert for 24 hours. Oh, Woo guys, what did I sign myself up for? Woo! We have... The beast fries. Beast style fries. There is cheese, mayo, ketchup, onions, and pickles on it. Or we have regular fries. Everybody ready? We're yeah. gonna try the beast style fries first. Okay, go Here's for it. Here's my French fries, and here I go. He is weak sauce. All right, check this out. I think I got a little bit of everything in there. Uh, everything's bone, but hey, just so you know, it's pretty hot. <laughs> I need it's water so over here. Here we go. That bite I just took was pretty much amazing and a little piece of heaven in my mouth. Jazzy, you like it? What do you think? <laughs> no, Jazzy, tell us what you think right now. <laughs> so these are the normal french fries. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. I like the spice, whatever that is. This stuff is so really good. Okay, let's vote on original fries. If you think it's better, raise your hand. Oh, he tricked us. I thought he was going for that for sure. Jack, I think we all knew that. All right, who thinks the beast elf are you serious? What? You went for those? Mm -hmm. The normal fries? Yeah. I think something funny is going on here. All right, guys, comment down below if you know what is happening right now. I suspect Jazzy's up to some funny business. You cheated. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just doing all I can in my rights to make my... Actually, never mind. I'm not going to Yeah, we all know. Sentence. All right, next round. Here we go. All right, round four. This round, we have the Chris Burger oh, versus yeah. the Impossible Beast Burger, okay? This is the... Chris Burger. Chris. It's got meat, it's got cheese, it's got loads of bacon, look at that. And french fries on there. Take a bite. Oh. Mm. Mm. Real good. A lot of bacon on anything is amazing. And yeah, french fries, that's good. 
This is the Impossible Burger. It's like with the meat, the cheese, ketchup, pickles, mayo, and mustard. Do you guys know what Impossible Burger is? What Impossible Meat is? This is a plant-based meat. It's kind of a new oh. thing. And bite. I actually really like that. That's that tastes good. good. And that's a healthier choice, so. I know what my vote is, though. If you want to vote for the Chris Burger, raise your hand. Oh, Woo. all right. So, Chris Burger wins next round. Woo! Round five, we have the Feastable Mr. Beast Chocolate Sea Salt versus these brand new cookies. These just launched like two weeks ago in Walmart. These are plant-based cookies, so they look kind of cool. This actually tastes good. It's, it's a intriguing. good texture for a cookie. Yeah. Hey, chocolate bar. This is flavored sea salt. <laughs> Jazzy's so excited, she's dropping her chocolate bar. Go! I like the cookie better, though. You like cookie better? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um. Boop. <laughs> if you vote for the chocolate bar, raise your hand. If you vote for the cookies, raise your hand. Ooh, Ooh. cookies won. That was surprising. The cookies were really good. They had like these little brown texture in it. It tasted really they're, they're good. They're called chocolate chips, Jack. All right, next round. All right, round six. We have the Impossible Chandler Burger versus the Carl's Grilled Cheese. Uh, this looks pretty good. This looks way good. Ready? Yeah. Three, does. two, one. Take a bite. You like up? Okay, let's open up the grilled cheese. I've never had a grilled cheese sandwich like that, and I like it. It's good. If you vote for the Impossible Chandler Burger, raise your hand. If you vote for the grilled cheese, raise your hand. Whoa! It looks like Kyler and I outvoted Kaden, so the Impossible Chandler Burger moves on. All right, round seven, we have a chicken sandwich versus the Nashville Hot and Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Which Ready? one will win? Which we one? don't know. All right, let's Maybe start with the normal chicken sandwich. Here we go. It looks like we've got some chicken strips in there, some lettuce and mayo. It looks pretty good. Go. What do you think, Jack? It's pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like the chicken. Okay. <laughs> you guys ready for the spicy? I don't eat any of that. How do you fish? I can't even understand you. Three, two, one, and take a bite. Ooh, that has a kick to it. Yeah. That is good. It does have a kick to it. <laughs> oh, I can't take hot, and that's pretty spicy. <laughs> that was a winner. If you vote for normal chicken, raise your hand. Two for, double hands. Come on, guys. If you vote for a spicy chicken, raise your hand. I guess the normal chicken wins this round. Round eight, we have a Carl's Deluxe versus an impossible Carl's Deluxe. Carl versus Carl. You guys keep watching the end to see which of our family members gets the good consequence and which one gets the bad one. So this looks kind of like the Carl's Grilled Cheese. <laughs> Look at that. That looks yummy. Tastes like a grilled cheese. With a burger. On a burger. to the next one. This is the impossible Carl's Deluxe. Go! Go. I like that one a lot too. That one's really good. I've got my answer. This one's really hard for me. You know which one you like? If you want the normal Carl's Deluxe burger, raise your hands. That was a hard one for me. They're both really good. If you, if like you want the impossible meat Carl's Deluxe, raise your hand. What? The Impossible Carl's Burger won on this one. All right, round nine. We have the Impossible Chris Burger versus the Mr. Beast Cookies. You guys ready? That is a gigantic, amazing cookie. Let's try Whoa, it. Whoa, that's probably the best cookie I've ever had before. That's better than I thought it would be. That's, that's a dang really good cookie. That's really good. All right, can we try the burger? Yes. Bacon, this fries, cheese, meat. Let's go. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I know which one I'm gonna go for. Okay, voting time. If you want to vote for the Impossible Chris Burger, raise your hand. I don't know. All right, if you want to vote for the cookie, raise your hand. All right, Jazzy, this literally comes down to you. There's one vote for each. We're gonna count her down, and she has to tell us no, no, which one you're gonna do. I don't know. You gotta choose. Three, two, two one, one, go. Oh, she wrote the cookie. Yeah. She's going with a sweet tooth. Okay, next round. You guys, before we get started round 10, will you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. We love doing these videos for you guys. All right, this round we've got almond, almond chocolate, chocolate versus quinoa crunch chocolate. I like peanuts, but I don't like almonds normally, but that's good, I like it. Quinoa crunch in three, two, one, go. We got a little crispy crunchies, kind of like Rice Krispies kind of thing. I think it's good. If you like the almonds, raise your hand. 
If you like the Kiwa Crunch, raise your hand. Woo! Woo! All right, Kiwa Crunch wins, here we go. All right, now that we've tasted every single Mr. Beast product, we are on to wave two to start eliminating to get to our very, very favorite. You guys ready? Yes. All right, this round, we have the Chandler Burger versus the Chris Burger. It's gonna get harder and harder, you guys, because these are all the winners already. Chandler's the plain one, only meat and cheese. Jack's ultimate favorite, here we go. That was very tasty. On to the Chris. Three, two, one, go. Oh, like a whole bite of all bacon. That was amazing. I don't know. know. It's like amazing versus amazing. Yeah. If you want the Chris Burger, raise your hand. If you want the Chandler Burger, raise your hand. <laughs> you guys are betraying me. They were both good. All right, good. Chris Burger wins. All right, next round, we have the Beast Burger cookies versus the Feastable cookies that you get in Walmart. Go. What do you think? What do you think? It actually tastes better than normal cookies. Three, two, one, eat the Feastable. It's kind of like a brownie mixed with a cookie or something. If you like the Mr. Beast Burger cookie, the big one, raise your hand. You sell out, these are the best. All right, if you like the Feastable cookies, raise your hand, the best. That was my vote. Dang it, you guys, you eliminated my yummy cookie. All right, next round, we got milk chocolate versus the quinoa crunch chocolate. Let's start with the quinoa. Let's Jazz, the quinoa I think first. one of these are dads to choose wisely. And take a bite. I like the quinoa. Milk chocolate, let's try this one. Jack, looks like a werewolf over here trying to open it up. Three, two, one, and go. Milk chocolate. You bite into it, it has a tiny crunch, but it's like so soft. That one's amazing. Milk chocolate, raise your hand. Yeah! All right, next round, we have the Impossible Carl versus the Impossible Chandler. You guys keep watching the end to see which of our family members gets the good consequence and which ones gets the bad one. Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna take a bite of the Impossible Carl first. You guys ready? All right, this one's the Impossible Chandler. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I know my pick. Oh, I know my pick. All right. If you want the Impossible Carl, raise your hand. If you want the Impossible Chandler, raise your hand. The Impossible Chandler just moved on to the next round. <laughs> All right, for the final round of this wave, we have the chicken sandwich versus the normal french fries. Here we go. The winner right here. I'm gonna get one with lots and lots of spices. I got a little kick that. that's yummy. Three, two, one, and go. Pretty good, I like the chicken toe. Do we know what we wanna vote? Yes. Anybody who wants to vote for the chicken sandwich, raise your hand. Anybody who wants the french fries, raise your hand. French fries win, woo! On to the final round, here we go, woo! All right, fun squad, we have made it to the final round. Oh, the final five items are right in front of each one of us. You guys, keep watching. You are about to find out what our family's favorite Mr. Beast food is. And you're also about to find out who is gonna get the Mr. Beast merch and who the other people are that are gonna be able to do the 24 hours in the desert. You guys excited? Yay! Yeah. All right, let's do this. Kyler, which item should we eat first? Uh, fries. French fries, let's do French fries. This looks good. What do you guys think? I like these seasoned fries. They are good. You guys like them? It depends what they're up against. All right, Chris Burger, everybody. Oh, Chris, good job on this burger right here. Mmm, I'm liking that one. The, the next one is Chandler. the Impossible Chandler. Okay, these I'm Impossible Burgers this. have been amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Man, this one's awesome, this one should win. That's a winner. You guys, we should all vote for this one right here. Yeah. We should vote we for this one. We all know. What? You're suspicious. I am? Let's do the chocolate bar, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. I think our family likes milk chocolate. Delish us. And the final item of the final round is the cookie. Go. Mm. Pretty good. What do you think? Pretty good, yeah. The moment we have all been waiting for. Does everybody know what your favorite Mr. Beast food is? Oh yeah. You know, each have one vote. Everybody grab two items, and one of the items has to be your top item. Mm. Everybody ready? Yeah. Jack's got the Impossible Burger and a cookie. Dean's got the Chris, Chris and a cookie. Tyler's got the two burgers. Jazzy's got a burger and fries. Okay, here we go. When I say zero, you have to hold up the right one, okay? Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Woo! All right. We've got a Chris. We've got an Impossible Chandler. We've got a Chris. 
We've got an impossible Chandler, and we've got a Chris. It looks like the Chris Burger wins. Woo! Now that you guys know what our favorite Mr. Beast food is, let's see how we all guessed. Keenan, what was your guess of which you thought would be the best? Mine got eliminated the very first round. Are you serious? It what was, was it? the Beast. The, the beast, beast Burger? Oh, Keenan, dang it. Jack, what was your item that you thought would uh, win? All right, guys, mine was the Chris. The Chris? Just kidding. Really? No, my, mine was the original Beastables. I thought it was gonna win for sure. All right, Jazzy, so what did you think at the beginning would win? It made the top five, but didn't succeed in the end. It was the fries. The French fries? Mm -hmm. Looks fun. like you are gonna be in the desert with these other guys. All right, Kyler, do you remember the, the chocolate bar that you chose? Yeah. That was a good choice, but. Kyler, you gotta go to the desert with all of us. So, you guys wanna know what I guessed? What? My favorite out of all this stuff is actually the Chris Burger. And I kind of thought it might be the favorite of all of our families. So I did guess right. I chose no! the Chris Burger. No! All right, you guys, it looks like I won this challenge. No! So that means my dad won $100 in Mr. Beast Burger. I'm excited. Yeah. We're gonna show you a quick clip of these guys spending 24 hours in the desert. Check it out right here. Shout out to Mr. Beast. If you want to see these guys doing their 24 hour survival challenge in the desert, click this video down below. Don't forget, never, never grow up! up!